In this video we will see how to build an audiobook in just 10 lines of python code. So for this you will need a couple of uh, modules that you will need to install. So first one is pyttx tts x3. So it's text to speech. So that's why tts and it's compatible with both python 2 and 3 and it works offline. So this we can install using pip or pip3 install pyttsx3 and more detail you can find here on its website here so it's a text to speech conversion library and they have also given the usage so first you need to import then you need to init this tts engine and then whatever is this engine you can call same method and pass the text then call run and, and wait the second uh, library is pypdf2 so we are trying to build a PDF reader. If you want any other text reader, you can do that. So this is for extracting info from the PDF file. It can uh, extract info uh, by page number info also. So you can read a particular page or you can provide a range that read all the pages from here to here. So this is not for reading. This is for extracting the information from PDF. This information we will pass to this engine here. And it will read so again uh, for installing this you will need to call pip or pip3 this library so let's start so we have a pdf file here so i have opened one pdf file it has four pages so we will try to read one of the pages and then we will also see how to read it in a range so you can provide a range also so let's see First is pip 3 or 3.7 or whatever you have, you should check on your system. PYTTSX3. So I already have installed it. So it will say that all the requirements are already satisfied. Similarly, Similarly, this is also installed for me. So I will straight away jump to Python. So you can open a text editor, but I am just for demo purpose. I am writing it here only in the terminal. So first we will import pyttsx3. Then import the PDF reader pypdf2. Now our import is done. Next we will open a book or document. So let's call it book. So the name of this PDF is LLD for low level design primer dot PDF. So book is now opened. Next let's uh, create the PDF file reader. pypdf2 dot pdf file reader and we will pass the book so the error says that uh, the pdf stream object is not in binary mode because we have not read it in binary mode so let's read it again open for reading in binary mode now let's create the pdf reader now it's fine next pages equal to pdf reader dot num pages let's print the num pages also to see if it's correctly reading or not so it's correctly showing four pages so we will need it when we want to read in a range. Currently we will not use it. Next, let's call it a speaker, this engine. PYTTSX3 dot init. So this is the text to speech engine. We have initialized it. Next.
get page and let's get the page at index 1 so it should be the second page next we will extract the text page dot so now text is extracted from page 2 next we will call our engine the speaker to say the text txt let's first ask it to say hello world and uh, then So if you did not listen it, I will run it again. Hello world. So I hope uh, you can listen it. Next we will read the text. The text of page number 2 which we read in this txt. And then we will again call run and wait. Encapsulation. Encapsulation refers to the bundling of data with the methods that operate on that data or the restricting of direct access to some of an object's components. It is used to hide the values or state of a structured data object inside a class, preventing unauthorized parties direct access to them. Publicly accessible methods are generally provided in the class getters setters to access the values and other client classes call these methods to retrieve and modify the values within the object abstraction. Abstraction refers to hiding all but the relevant data about an object in order to reduce the complexity of the system. It can be seen as an extension of encapsulation. It is very helpful in large systems having many objects interacting with each other because it helps in hiding internal implementation details of objects and only reveals methods which are relevant to other objects. Inheritance. In object-oriented programming, inheritance is the mechanism of deriving new classes, subclasses, from existing ones such as superclass or base class and then forming them into a hierarchy of classes. There are various types of inheritance, based on paradigm and specific language. Single inheritance. And we have read this complete page. Now if you want to read in a range, you can write like this for a page in range and you can provide the range like from 0 to let's say you want to read all pages so you will write pages and then call this function again within this loop so it will uh, get a particular page here get page PAG then extract text from that page read it then when this page is complete again get the next page and so on so i hope uh, you find this uh, trick very useful there are a few more things that you can do so here you did not control the voice but if you look at their documentation you will see that you can change the voice rate and volume and these are the different functionalities to do that so uh, feel free to try all of these and that will be a fun exercise for you.